so hello everyone welcome to the channel so in this video i'm gonna show you how to import and clip a sentinel 2a image using any study area shape file in google earth engine so now let's get started so to uh, load your study area shape file into earth engine so in our previous video i have shown you how to upload or import your study area shape file into earth engine so the link will be given in the description to how to import uh, your study area shape file into earth engine so once you have uploaded your study area shape file, navigate to this option called assets. In that, you can able to see that there is a legacy asset. In that, there is a there is a shape file called uh, study area. So if you click this option called uh, import into script, so it's automatically uh, imports your study area shape file into your Earth engine. So you can able to visualize. So this too uh, represents the similar thing. The variable table equals to double e dot feature collection and this particular code represents the same so you can able to see that so this is the imports uh, generated code so so once you did that next uh, we have to load our sentinel 2a image into earth engine so to load our sentinel 2a image we defined a variable called s2 equals to double e dot image collection copernicus sentinel 2 surface reflectance harmonized so this is the code which going to insert our sentinel 2a image into earth engine so once you did that, we're going to extract the geometry and center the map. So for that, we define variable geometry equals to table dot geometry. So here the table here represents our study area shape file. That is this particular one. So this table represents our study area shape file, which we have inserted, uh, imported from our asset section of Earth Engine. And next we define map dot center object geometry. So to center the center of our uh, our layer so for that we define map dot center object geometry next we have to set a visualization parameter for our sentinel 2a image so for that we define variable equals to rgb this equals to we set a minimum of 0, 0.0 and to a maximum of 3000 so this minimum and maximum ref uh, represents the brightness and the and the contrast of the image so uh, we set this particular range in order to uh, visualize the image with the correct brightness and contrast of the image. Next we are using the bands uh, band B4, B3 and B2. These are the three bands we are going to use for this particular visualization purpose. So these are the Sentinel 2A image bands. The band 4, 3 and 2 represents the true color composite. And next we are going to filter the Sentinel 2A image with the cloud contamination. So in order to uh, uh, visualize an image with a lesser cloud contaminated uh, satellite image so for that we defined a variable called filtered equals to s2 s2 here represents our sentinel 2a image dot filter double a dot filter lt cloud pixel percentage less than 30 percent so we are specifying with the condition of cloud uh, contamination percentage uh, less than 30 percentage and next we are specifying the specific timeline for that we define dot filter double a dot filter dot date uh, 2019 January 1 2020 January 1 so we are specified with a specific timeline where the image uh, will be acquired based on the specific uh, time range and next we're going to filter with a specific study area that is dot filter double a dot filter dot bounds geometry your geometry here represents our study area so in this we have uh, used variable geometry equals to table dot geometry function so the geometry represents our study area boundary of this particular shape file called study area so next we're going to compute a median uh, image so the median uh, compute the median value for each pixel across all images in the filtered collection this reduces the influence of the clouds and other anomalies so for that we are using this specific function called median function we defined a variable called image equals to filter dot median function and once you did that we're going to navigate to the, the clip bar to clip the image to the study area so we are accessing the sentinel 2a image and based on that based on the study area shape file we're going to clip using uh, the study area shape file to clip from the sentinel 2a image so for that we define variable clip equals to image dot clip geometry based on the study area this is our sentinel 2a image it's going to use our study area shape file to clip only the portions of the satellite image containing the study area Next, to add this layer to uh, into our earth engine, we define map.add layer clipped. So clipped represents our study area and RGB represents our visualization parameter for our Sentinel 2A image and output the layer name as clipped. And next, we're going to add our 
sentinel 2a image so for that we define map.add layer so image so similarly we are using visualization purpose rgb this represents rgb visualization parameter and now put the layer name as uh, sentinel 2a image so once you did that we're going to navigate to the section called run and click this option called run so now let us visualize the result here in the layer section we have two different layers one is sentinel 2a image and followed by the clipped the clip represents a based on the study area shape file it clipped the portion of the sentinel 2a image so now we have our sentinel 2a image here let me zoom into this part of the study area here so now our image is getting loaded here so now we have two different layers sentinel 2a image and clipped so let me turn off the sentinel 2a image and this is our study area boundary polygon uh, we have clipped using our study area boundary polygon for the over the sentinel image so this is our sentinel image and this is our study area boundary polygon based on that we have clipped the portion of our sentinel image using our study area boundary polygon now let me show you my study area boundary polygon i'm going to click this option called uh, so we're going to clip on the study area here so you can uh, visualize the study area boundary here this is the asset details of my shape file here so now here you can able to visualize the study area boundary here which is located in the india so you can able to uh, view here the northern uh, portion of uh, that is towards the southern portion of india this shape file occurs so you can able to see that let me close this so in this video i have shown you how to import and clip a sentinel 2a image using a study area shape file in uh, any study area shape file in google earth engine so thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like so thanks for watching